Hey guys, welcome back to American Adventure Lab. On today's episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna install one of our own products. So this right here is our Jeep JL Highline Fender Bracket with daytime running lights. This all started for me a couple months ago when I put my JL up on the CTI trailer. And when I flexed the axles, the first thing that it hit was the inner fenders. I had to pull those out to make more room for the tires. And what happens when you do that, on the JL, when you pull out the inner fender, you also pull out the bracket that holds the factory daytime running light. Well, this is the whole uniqueness of the JL. This light is very important to the aesthetics of the vehicle. So what I did is I built this bracket, designed a light canister for it. We have an LED that runs white for daytime running light mode, and it switches over to sequential turn signals. So what that does, that gives you your unique JL look but also tons of room to add your 37 inch tires, 40s, you know, however big you guys want to go on the tires. This really frees up all that space under there. So what we're going to do today is take this JL, pull off the factory inner fenders and put our daytime running lights and brackets on. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at all the tools we'll need to do this installation. Serious face. <laughs> Present the tools. You've got the spinner, the 90 degree spinner, the little bit stronger spinner, the prior, the plus sign, the hickey do, the star, the more star, What's less like a stars. Like an inside star. Yeah, that's the female star. This is a male star. This is the stretcher grabber. It's the little stubby grabber, pointy grabber there, and the a little cutter. Nice. All right, I mentioned earlier that the real benefit for doing this was the extra clearance that you get from removing that fender well. So what I want to do now is do a quick measurement of before and then we'll do a measurement after and show you the difference. Okay, so this JL sits a little bit lower than most, so you can pretty much ignore the numbers that I'm gonna give you, but what I wanna talk about is the difference. So right now, we're sitting right at six inches of clearance between the top of the tire and the bottom of the inner fender. So we'll rip these off, and we'll talk about how much clearance we gain from doing this. All right, first thing we'll do is remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the inner fender. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. All right, next thing we gotta do is pull out the push pins. So there's six push pins that run up around the edge, two down here at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and get those pulled out. So at this point, the inner fender is completely separated with the exception of some little rivets down the backside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those loose and then we'll be able to pull the, fender, the inner fender out. All right, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and disconnect our lights. So there's a little red keeper on here. Pull this guy out, then you can squeeze it and pull the whole connector out. So pretty simple there. All right, now we're gonna pull out the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the fender to the, to the body. So 
So here are the little clips that I was mentioning earlier. In the other videos, they just pull the fenders off, but what I don't want to do is break these things. So what you can do is take some needle nose pliers up behind that and squeeze the little ears together and these clips basically pop themselves out. So let's get that done. All right, now we have the fender off. The next thing we're gonna do is separate all the black plastic from the outer shell. So we're gonna start by removing the light and get that out of the way, make sure it's safe and we don't mess those things up. They're fetching a pretty penny on eBay right now. So let's take care of it and then we'll keep going. All right, this guy's a little hard to get out. So there's a piece of double-sided tape that runs on the top. Um, you just pull it hard enough, it'll come out. It won't hurt anything. So that's the double-sided tape I was mentioning. All right, so if you notice here on the bottom of the fender, all these little spots here, those are just little plastic welds. They break apart pretty easy. So you can just pull this out. When you're doing this, make sure you don't flex this outside shell too much. You definitely don't want to splinter out the paint on it. So you got to be careful with that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is trim off these little plastic tabs. Uh, just to make it look a little cleaner, you obviously don't want to leave those hanging on there. Uh, after you pull out the black plastic. All right, the first tab we want to cut off is this one up here in the very corner. Into my 
dreams Wakes me into sweaty sheets Abandons me when nights die out What can I do? What can I do? These guys here they don't need to stay here, but I'm too scared to cut them off of this particular Jeep. So at your leisure, you can cut these off. They're actually welded to the, to the body. So do as you wish. I just don't want to cut them off of this one right now. So we'll let him make that decision at some point in the future. But right now we're going to take this fender and just pop it back in and this thing will be almost done. Stop this get right, stop this get right. Now I'm ready. Can we go now? Yeah, you can go. Go, go, go for it. We're going already. Okay. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. All right, so now that all of the inner fender is gone, you notice the fender's a little bit floppy, so that's what our brace does. It stops that from happening. When you get your braces, you'll notice we give you new hardware. So we're gonna take those bolts and nuts and stick the brace on. Brace yourselves. Brace yourself. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much the whole reason this product exists, right? You took your inner fender out and you're like, had a floppy fender. Can't have floppy fender. So there's a little hole in the gusset around the back so you can get your finger in to start the nut. So it's a little tight, but for aesthetics, that was the best way to do it. The last little easy step is plug in the matching factory connector. Cool. All right, now that we have the inner fender removed, let's take another measurement and see how much clearance we gain. All right, looks like nine and a half. So we were at six before. So if my amazing math skills hold true, that's three and a half inches of clearance that we gained just from doing the inner fender removal. So absolutely worth it. You get that much more articulation. So cool, let's do the other side.
All right, guys, hope you liked the installation. If you like this video, check out some more of our content. We have tons of JO related videos. We're going to be installing some more of our product very soon and some product from some other manufacturers as well. So make sure you give us a like and a thumbs up. We appreciate you guys checking it out. Thanks.